Matt Rule and the Baylor Bears just had one of the worst seasons in Baylor football history. Soft! 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 It was a season that was ruined by injury and one that still saw lingering effects from the scandals of the Art Bros era. The Bears went just 1-11 in 2017 and it was their worst record since 1999. Everything about Baylor football in 2017 was downright terrible. But I'm here with three reasons as to why Baylor football will shock the Big 12 and shock everybody else in the nation and bounce back in 2018. Baylor had a terrible year last year, but there's some reasons for Baylor fans, including myself, to have optimism for this upcoming season. The first reason is being that there's tons of experience coming back for the Bears in 2018. Out of 264 possible starters in 12 games, the Bears started 121 underclassmen. Baylor had 27 first-time starters in 2017, and out of those 27, 11 were true freshmen, and Baylor played 17 true freshmen overall. All of that to say, there's loads of experience coming back for the Bears in 2018. This group is led by Big 12 Freshman of the Year Charlie Brewer, who began the season third string on the depth chart, but finished the season with four starts and threw for nearly 1,600 yards, along with 11 touchdowns to just four interceptions. Baylor also returns three of their five top rushers in John Lovett, Jermichael Hasty, and Tristan Ebner. Add on to that, Baylor will not lose a single receiver from their receiving core in 2017. This means that all Big 12 second team player Denzel Mims will be coming back for the Bears to lead the receiving core. And they also added Tennessee transfer Jalen Hurd to the receiving core as well. This means that Baylor is going to be returning a lot of talent on offense, so look for this offense to explode in 2018. On defense, Baylor returns 82% of their defensive production, which is one of the top in the nation. This group is being led by Big 12 honorable mention players, linebacker Clay Johnston, defensive lineman Ira Lewis, and cornerback Harrison Hand. All of that to say, experience is going to play a big factor in Baylor football's success in 2018. The second reason why Baylor football is going to shock everybody in 2018 is because of Matt Rule's recruiting class this year. Baylor currently has a top 25 recruiting class in the country. They've signed six four-star recruits, and they could possibly add a seventh four-star recruit in wide receiver Tommy Bush come signing day. With the possible addition of wide receiver Tommy Bush, Baylor could become a top 20 class in the nation, and that would be the best recruiting ranking for the Baylor Bears in school history. A top 20 ranked recruiting class coupled with the experience returning for Baylor in 2018 can make Baylor a very dangerous team. The last reason that Baylor could shock everybody in 2018 is because they have a favorable schedule. Baylor could very well be 4-0 going into an important game against Oklahoma in 2018. They open up with three non-conference games against Abilene Christian, UTSA, and Duke, and a conference game against Kansas. This favorable schedule could allow the Bears to build some momentum and confidence early in the season, which is something they lacked in 2017 after upset losses to Liberty, UTSA, and Duke. Many teams in the Big 12 will also be breaking in new quarterbacks, such as Kyler Murray at Oklahoma, Sean Robinson at TCU, and either Alex Delton or Skylar Thompson at Kansas State. So look for an experienced Baylor defense to take advantage of these teams trying to break in new quarterbacks. At worst, Baylor could go 4-8 or even 5-7, but realistically, I could see them going 9-3 with some upset wins along the way. But this is college football, and that means anything could happen. So the Bears could quite possibly go 12-0 and find themselves in the Big 12 championship game. You never know. Yes! 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 How do y'all think Bears going to do in 2018? Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. If you like this video, go check out some of the other content that I have here on the channel. Be sure to like this video, comment with some stuff that you also want to see here on the channel, and as always, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thanks for tuning in here to this video, and I'll catch y'all here next time in Studio 16.